Oh, how fickle we human beings are. We've begun this liturgy the way the crowds welcome Christ into Jerusalem as a triumphant king, fanning him with branches, throwing our cloaks on the road, shouting Hosanna. Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna in the highest. And in a few short moments, those shouts of Hosanna have turned into shouts of crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. It's hard to know what changed for them in those few short days. It's hard to know what caused the crowds to so quickly turn against the Lord. Perhaps he had done something to confuse them. Perhaps the fulfillment he promised didn't come the way they expected or wanted. Perhaps he didn't do something that they desired. Perhaps it was just good old-fashioned peer pressure. And as the opinion of everyone else changed, no one was brave enough to think otherwise. Whatever the case may be, the sudden change, the sudden turn from shouts of Hosanna to shouts of crucify him remind us that we as human beings can struggle. Can struggle standing up for the truth. Can struggle knowing the Lord. Can struggle in living the life that he has called us to. Because so many other things may promise us faster, easier, better joy, happiness, peace. And so as we gather at the beginning of this most sacred of weeks, this solemn commemoration of the Lord's entry into Jerusalem and the recollection of his passion invite us to think about how the Lord might be calling us to stand as witnesses to his truth, to stand as witnesses to his life, to his love, and to think about what forces might be at play in our lives that cause us to turn the other way? What might be present in my life, my situation, that might cause me to switch my shouts of Hosanna to shouts of crucify him? What things, what realities, what difficulties, what challenges might we face that make us so easily turn from the Lord to the path of darkness, to the path of sin. But as we prepare to triumphantly proclaim the Lord's resurrection in just a week from now, to think about how easy it might be for us to say and do otherwise. And while our capability to do otherwise may well be sobering and even disheartening, the Lord reminds us today, the Lord reminds us always, that although we human beings may well be fickle, God is always faithful. God is always faithful. And just like the crowds who turned against him in Jerusalem, his response will always be for us the gift of self, the gift of his life, the gift of his love. That no matter how many times we might want to turn away and disobey God, no matter how many times we might want to, with our lives, shout, crucify him, 
he will only respond by offering us his very self. By mounting the wood of the cross. By offering his innocent life for us. By reaching out and giving us the gift of eternal life and salvation. And so as we prepare for this holiest of weeks, may God's fidelity to us be the thing that drives all we do. His promise his promise of salvation, his promise of mercy, his promise of love. God will always keep his promise. Even when we're fickle, even when we disobey, even when we seek to crucify him. And in that faith, let me suggest that St. Peter be our God. We have two examples of infidelity in today's gospel, Judas and Peter. Both betray the Lord. Both dishonor his love. Both seek to separate themselves from Christ in dramatic ways. But only one only Peter is capable of accepting the Lord's forgiveness, of accepting the Lord's love, of accepting the Lord's mercy. And in being willing to accept those things, finds himself as the rock of the church. Judas, of course, tradition says, goes on to take his own life, unable to love himself because he believes that God cannot love him anymore. No matter where we might find ourselves, no matter how fickle may be, we may be, no matter how many times our lives, our thoughts, our words, or actions might suggest that we want to be separate from God, God will always be faithful. If we trust in his mercy, if we trust in his love, if we trust in his compassion and forgiveness, he will indeed bring us to the halls of heaven.